There's one more question that I just looked when I got the last one out. Um, this is a question that was not just online, um, questions that people have asked. This is a, what was it, a magazine or someone like that. Somebody had a magazine or something and they did an interview with me and they asked some questions and then they closed the interview, interview with, we would like to ask, what is it about Michael that nobody else knows? That's how they said we asked that of every author, celebrity, teacher, whomever they were interviewing. We like to ask that, you know, what does nobody know about Michael Merdad? And um, it depends. I mean, I can, I can throw out an answer that, um, you know, that might surprise, shock. I don't know if the question's meaning something beautiful, surprising, or something, you know, traumatic or, or challenging. So the best answer as it just comes to me in the moment, um, let's see, um, that, um, you know, I uh, probably that I, spiritual and healing and all the work that I do, you know, there's still, um, there's a side of me that really wants to do my best and, um, and be helpful. And so anytime that that's deviated, I really call myself on that. Um, I really, I'm not overly oppressive to myself or self-deprecating or something excessively, but inside there is a part that says, okay, that wasn't working and we need to correct that. So there's a, there's a little bit of that that goes on. Um, you think a lot of teachers are very detached from what people think or, or you don't like me or you don't like that I don't eat your diet or I don't do things the way you want. Um, that stuff, teachers have learned to thick skin themselves so that, you know, just thick skin so they don't have to worry about what people think. I'm not a thick skin person, which is, that's another thing to share, you know. Um, I'm a, probably a little too sensitive to do the work that I do because that kind of comes back and bites me at times. But it's also what makes me me. It, the, the, the being open and sort of sensitive is also why I can channel the way I do. So with it comes this and with it comes that. So a lot of people don't know I'm, I'm really self-aware and, you know, putting myself in check more than some people. But also that I'm not thick-skinned about things. I'm, you know, sensitive. And uh, that can be a little difficult to deal with. Um, you know, I think that um, uh, in my life, I think I've generally been a good person. I'm pretty proud about that. Um, I don't think I've overtly or selfishly harmed people excessively or continuously or repetitiously. If it ever happens, it's been a slip and a few times only in my life. But because that first comment that I made a few times is still something that makes me go, okay, let's work on that rather than, oh, well, it's just a few times. So, you know, there's that. I'm, you know, deeply devoted. I don't preach it a lot, but I, I'm deeply devoted to connecting with spirit. And um, people then think that he must be a vegetarian. He must he must fast all the time. He must be a celibate. He probably is vows of poverty. No, guys, those, those are the descriptions of the old days for us, preachers, teachers, and so on. This is a different world now. So um, we're we're encouraged to be alive and be fully alive so that's one more thing that some people don't know um you know just how i in, engage with this world and uh you know and it, michael must be strict about this I, I don't mean that i mean connecting with spirit in terms of i start each day and end each day in communion i read inspirational words things that are channeled as much closely as to, you know, as closely as possible to being the words of Christ or God or love or whatever as possible. I don't read just anything that might have a nice comment in it. I go for the stuff that every line practically is major. Um, so I, and they, sometimes those are Christian materials. Sometimes they're new age materials, channel materials, historic materials. So there's no one thing because I look for the light everywhere. And I love feeding my soul with that light. So hopefully that answers that 